I'm Paulie, and welcome to General Gaming's Top 5. Each week, we take a quick look at five breaking news stories in the world of video gaming. Links to today's stories can be found in the description section below. Starting with number 5 is the long-awaited release of Hollow Neighbor on December 8th. Now you're probably about to say, I've never heard of a game called Hollow Neighbor, which I totally understand. The developers and publishers are both independent operations, which is why you probably haven't heard of the game. Smaller developers don't have the millions to throw away in marketing, and honestly, any spare money they do have is better spent on developing the game. Hollow Neighbor is a single player stealth survival game built on the Unreal 4 engine, so the graphics, while cartoon-like, are amazing. This game is not one for the faint-hearted. I encourage you to watch the full trailer or watch some of the beta gameplay. You can pre-order Hollow Neighbor on Steam for only 29 US dollars. Next at number four is the release of God of War in early 2018. This third person action adventure game is loosely based on North mythology and the eighth installment in the series, which was first released in 2005. Unlike previous games in the God of War series, God of War 2018 features a limited open world for players to explore and the story mode for all players unfortunately will be the same. An interesting fact about the game is the soundtrack for God of War was produced by Bear McKeary, best known for his work on Battlestar Galactica and The Walking Dead. At number 3 this week, released on September the 6th, Destiny 2 is everything the original game should have been and more. If you haven't already purchased the copy, great news, Destiny 2 is now on sale. If you already own a copy, then there's even better news. Firstly, Bungie has released an update in November which enables 4K graphics for Xbox One X and PlayStation 4 Pro systems. Secondly, the new DLC will be coming in the next few days with the launch of Season 2 and Curse of the Arise. Check them out. This week's number two, the Micro Sega Mega Drive. In previous episodes, we covered the resurgence of retro gaming with the Nintendo and Atari, re-releasing miniature versions of their retro consoles. Almost two decades since its original release, this new iteration has 16-bit graphics, two controllers, and 80-plus games built in. All your classic games such as Columns, Sonic, Mortal Kombat, and many more are included. At 99 Australian dollars, it's the perfect Christmas gift for all those big kids who missed out and for the new generation of gamers who never experienced any of the retro fun. This week at number one, released only a few weeks ago, EA Games and Battlefront 2 have faced major backlash from players due to their DLC and microtransaction service. Influenced by a campaign on Reddit, EA Games apologized on Twitter on November the 17th and announced they were turning off all in-game purchases. Despite this, gambling regulators in Australia have begun to investigate EA Games and other developers. In short, loot boxes are seen as an unauthorized form of gambling. Despite your views on the game and its reception, there is at least one positive outcome from this. Gamers are in control. That's our top five trending news stories in the world of video gaming. Before we go this week, I'm proud to announce the launch of the General Gaming Challenge series. Each week, gamers battle it out against each other in various challenges. Our first episode is the Five Star Challenge. The winner of this challenge is the player who survives the longest with five stars. There'll be more General Gaming Challenges and other shows coming soon. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check us out on Facebook. Once again, the team at General Gaming would like to wish you all a happy and lag-free holidays. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. You can watch last week's episode up there. You can watch our new content down here. And don't forget to click the red button and subscribe.